It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. Duck was puffing along his branch line with his coaches when suddenly... Vroom! Duck was horrified that he applied his brakes. His coaches bumped into each other. Oh my god, that was the weirdest sight I've ever seen. Well, what do you think you're doing? I saw a car. Well, I saw a car too. Well, it was terrifying. Well, I saw a NASCAR. He's going pretty fast. Oh yeah, we'll even teach him it even sense, I suppose. Duck heard nothing. He wished away to the next station. Percy was already there with his fans when Duck wished into the station. Hello, Percy. I heard a NASCAR driving. Yes, Duck. He was going so fast. He's always causing trouble. You've never heard him in your life. Yes, indeed. I never heard about NASCARs like this one. But believe it, you or me. Yes, Duck, I know. It's really terrifying. But I must get going. Good luck, Duck. Oh, yeah. Good luck for that, Percy. Duck decided to take his coaches back to the yards. Duck collected some trucks from the yards. He was still concerned about the NASCAR. Uh, what's the NASCAR's name, driver? Well, as a matter of fact, we will call him Savend. Savend, that's a good one. All right, come along, trucks. We don't have all day. Duck puffed happily along his branch line again. Just then, he saw the bend. The bend? Oh my god. Duck stopped. The bend roared by. Duck was horrified. Oh no. It can't be. Bother Savend, he's going to get into a lot of trouble one day. So Duck decided that it was time to speak to the other engines about this. Meanwhile, Savend came to a stop at the road. He looked both ways before he could turn right. That's right, I'll take the right track. So Sivan took the right track. He went faster and faster. But as he got to the crossing, there was trouble. He had stopped. Oh my goodness, I'm out of fuel. Well, this is getting worse. What do you think I'm going to do? You're going to find out, Sivan. All right. I'm going for help. Well, driver... At least you could do. I'll be just fine. So Savin's driver went to get help. Savin was getting nervous and nervous. He was he had stopped in the wrong place. Then he heard a train coming towards him. It was Danny and David. Man, Danny, you saw that car on the road. It's getting horrifying. You never know what to do about this. Yeah, sure thing, David. It's kind of nice to be taking passengers down the line. It's more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, indeed. At least it's totally non-violent. It's kind of nice to do so. Anyway, we can stick at the tracks. Just then, David saw Savin on the line ahead. Get out of the way! But of course, he wouldn't move.
Luckily, nobody was hurt. After they forced him, Sivan was lying down on his side, severely damaged. He had, he had to be taken away. Later on, the manager spoke to Sivan's driver about this. He was so cross with him. Duck had to speak to Bill and Ben about this. They were most concerned. Oh boy, Savan got frightened after they got run over by Danny and David. Yes, the fat controller found out and he wanted him to get fired and so he did. Yes, that's right you two. We all make mistakes, but everyone knows we have to be really careful about cars. The engines were thinking of ways to get safe around cars, but that's another story 